You're watching News 8 on WROC. Joining me in studio is Lauren Coe, the founder and executive director of One Soldier at a Time. Lauren, so great to have you with us. Thank you so much for having us, Hallie. We are talking about an event of yours coming up this week, and it's called the Heroes and Hidden Heroes charity event. Begin by telling us what this event is. This is an event really just to honor and recognize our veterans, our first responders, just letting them know how valuable they are, um, how much... Um, they're just as valuable here as they were overseas and just giving them a great day just to relax, release, have fun with their family. I and mean, it's open to the public. What can people expect to do go to this event? Uh, what's, what's it going to entail? Oh, a fabulous time. I can tell you that right now. From 2 to 8 p.m. nonstop. I mean, we're going to have a fat, I mean, I don't know if you've eaten yet, but we're talking pulled pork, jerk chicken. Homemade mac and cheese, mm. salt potatoes, honey cornbread. Oh my. I mean, it's just amazing. We have three fabulous bands, and we also have, um, they're going to be doing the national anthem, presentation of the flags. We have um, taps. There won't be a dry eye in the place. The most important part with this is you're looking to serve about 2,600 veterans. Uh, tell me about that. What will this money go towards? Um, we like to provide veterans that are either homeless, impoverished, living in PTSD homes, VA hospitals with hygiene packages of hope. So it's anything to really stay nice, fresh, and clean from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet. We even provide um, socks, shirts, ties, things like that. Um, so when they go on a job interview, go to work, visit with their families. Um, sadly, unfortunately, sometimes we do provide um, suits, and these suits are actually for veterans that have passed away. I mean, the suicide rate is just, it's more than 22 a day, mm. and it, it is heartbreaking. So um, we allow them to be buried with dignity. Wow, yeah. just incredible what you guys are doing. Now I have to ask, you have a $20 bill uh, sitting on your lap. Tell me why you have this here with us. I've shared this before, um, but I think it's very important. People don't understand um, certain aspects. But let me ask you, would you love this $20 bill? Of course. Okay, would you still love this $20 bill? Yes. Why? Because I can unfold it. And it still has the same value, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with anyone who feels um, broken, who feels like they have been wounded in some way, dealing with PTSD. And that's how our veterans, they, and I shared this earlier, they just, they knew what their purpose was overseas. But remembering what their purpose is here, sometimes they forget and they don't feel like they have worth or value. And I believe every veteran needs to know and every person that struggles with PTSD needs to know how valuable and important they are, that their purpose is just as great now as it was before. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, let's welcome. finish here with this event. Um, give me the logistics of it, how people can take part and who's helping you. Well, we had a great deal of people helping us out. I mean, we have Selco Design, Walmart, Wegmans, um, Top Shelf Exhibits, um, John Wright Law Firm. So, I mean, I can't, there's like 46 at least different companies that are supporting us. Mm -hmm. They can go to onesoldieratime.net to get their tickets. They can go to the Coach and Webster to get tickets. They can call me directly if they want to and get a ticket. I will hook them up. Oh, best of luck to you. Thank you so much Thank for you. being here with us in studio. We'll have all the information about that event for you over at rochesterfirst.com.